Hello, guys. In this episode I will create the note picker 3D model. This is the reference image. Which I will use during the modeling. So let's go to Blender and start. Delete this default cube. Go to Menu, Add and choose Image Reference. Not background, it's the same thing but have more options. In our case either reference or background will work for us. Adjust the position little bit. Scale it. Here you have more params. Uncheck perspective. Let's adjust the opacity. And disable selection. Looks good. Now go to file menu and import no 3D model from previous episode. Disable selection for the note. Adjust the scale of background image to follow the size of the node. Hide the mode model for now. Good time to save the project. Now go to Add Menu and add a cylinder. Scale it and adjust the position. In Editor Mode, remove the face at the bottom. We don't need it. Adjust the height a little. Now choose Insert Faces Action and add more faces to the top. Follow the reference image. Select the central face and move it higher. Now add more edges to the top of the stick. and scale the top layer. Add more faces to the top now. Great. Now, in object mode, Go and enable Normals Auto Smooth Parameter. In the Context menu, enable Smooth. Looks pretty. Now I want to separate the top from the bottom. So I select all faces in the top. Press key button and choose selection. We got two separate 3D models. 
Let's give the appropriate names. Now I want to add more space in the note base. So let's change it. It will work somehow like this. Good. Change the height here, make longer even it can be invisible in the game. Show the note and let's check how they look together. You can select notes two parts and join them. It's easier to move and test the note now. Note and the picker fit each other well. Looks great. In edit mode, select one vertical edge. Mark it as seam. Select the top edge and also mark it as a seam. Select all. Let's check Smart UV Project. Now let's check Just Unwrap. Simple Unwrap looks better. Let's go with it. Scale this circle a little bit. Good. Let's export the UV. Open the exported file in the image editor. Go to textures.com and find some free plastic texture. Download it. Let's apply this texture to our UV texture. Now make it more dark, nearly black. Export the result. Now back to Blender. In Shading tab, create a material and apply the image texture. Great. 
Before we start to unwrap the bottom, let's separate the color part. Now we get two models, the bottom itself and the color top part. Let's create UV for the bottom part. Select an edge and choose mark seam. Select round parts, go to top view, choose unwrap from view. Select other parts, go to side view, and choose cylinder projection. Rearrange islands a little. Make these round parts bigger. Looks good. Export the UV image. Open the UV file in the image editor and create a texture. Back to Blender. In Shading tab, add new material. And add image texture. Choose the texture file here. It works. But if we take a look closer to it, the texture on the side is blurry. To fix this, back to UV tab again, select the side faces. Unwrap, choose Smart UV Project. Now the side has more detailed view. It has seams in some part but for the our game it's okay. Now select color model and let's apply a material to it. The material just a color. We are doing this just to check how everything looks now. This material will be set in the game by script. Same as we do for notes color part. Overall, it looks good. It's ready to import to the game. Before the export, let's detach, remove material from models. We will have more control under material in Go. Later. This is optional, not required. Just an experiment. Export selection only. Back to go. Dot, drag and drop exported model to the folder.
Open the file. Remove animation player and save as .tscn file. Now drag and drop texture file. Here add new spatial material. Choose the texture. Rename it. Good. Now in Blender, return material back. Select pick a top, detach the material and export. Again, repeat the same process here. Drag the file to go dot. Adjust and save the scene. Drag and drop the texture file. Create the material and apply the texture. Looks good. Now let's move all resources related to picker to pick folder, just to keep things more organized. Because path to resources are hard coded in script, we need to fix it manually. Now it works. Now go to picker scene and spawn the new picker mesh. Adjust the position. Now spawn the picker top part. Also, fix the position. Nice! Let's fix the code. We need to change old mesh path to the new picker mesh, color part of the bottom. Also let's change the scale of the picker, it should be smaller a little. Let's test. Each picker has a separate color. Great. Go to scene and delete old mesh plane. No needed anymore. Now update the script and let's improve the picking animation.
good. Let's test. Looks good. Now important moment here. To make the game look like the original Guitar Hero game, go to Camera Aspect and choose Width. Adjust the position a little. Just compare. Cool, isn't? Last moment. Adjust the road position, just to avoid any empty space in the beginning. Also, adjust the picker animation height. Everything looks good. Let's test and finish this tutorial.